Okay, good morning, everyone. Welcome to your low impact workout. I am back. <laughs> I'm Caitlin. I'm filling in for TJ today. And we are going to be doing um, a really fun workout, some strength, some cardio, and you will want a medium set of dumbbells for sure. And then if you have one medium to heavier kettlebell, grab that as well. If not, you're just set with that medium set. Okay, we are gonna be starting it with our pillar prep in a reverse scorpion position. So on your back, right leg in the air, drop it across your body, stack your hips, roll shoulders touching the ground. Relax into it for just a second here, and then we'll switch on over to our other side. Left leg up, drop across. Good, just going side to side, about two or three more reps. Getting some mo movement through your low back. Get one more rep in here. And perfect. We're going to go 90 degrees with our legs, 90 degrees with our arms. Exhale as we open up, adding in that twist with your upper back. Inhale back and across. Good. Exhale over, open up, inhale back across. Let's go four reps each side right here. Wonderful, and then flipping on over, going to our other side. Exhale, up and over, inhale, back across. Feel a really nice stretch through your shoulder and pec and your upper back. Wonderful, we are going to flip on over, going into a plank position next. Find that core engagement right away. We're going to lift up our right foot, step it outside of our right hand, and then add in a little bit of a twist. If that's a little bit too much for you, just put that back knee down so you get a really nice stretch for your hip, and then add in your twist. And then we'll stand back up to that plank, and then switch on over to our other side. Just back and forth, about three reps each side here. Again, you can put that back knee on the ground for just a little bit more stability. Wonderful, going back to that plank position, knees down to the ground, so you're in all fours. We're going to go into some bird dog. So elbow and opposite knee come together and then extend. Five reps each side here. Finding that core engagement when you crunch in and then extend out. Perfect, then switching sides. Again, keeping your core engaged the whole time. Last one. And good, standing on up. We are moving into our movement prep next. So we have a single leg RDL. Finding that balance, you're gonna kick back, hold strong, and stand back up. We're just gonna do three on one side, three on the other. Ready, three, two, one, we're on. So finding that balance, kick back, shoulders are strong. If you need to hold on to a couch or a wall, have something close. Wonderful, and switching sides. If you find that your balance is pretty good, really focus on keeping both of your hips pointed down towards the ground. Don't let yourself open up. Wonderful, okay. We are going down to the ground next in a pillar bridge position. So on our elbows, and we are going to let our hips rotate. Side to side, 20 seconds. In three, two, one, we're on. You can always modify here, just going down your knees, holding strong in that pillar ridge position. Good, 
by adding in this little rotation, you should feel in your obliques. Go on here. Abs on the side. Stay strong here. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Flipping on over, we're going into some glute bridges. Feet are nice and close to your body. Press those hips up, engage your glutes, come back down. In three, two, one, we're on. Press those hips up, come back down. Also finding that core engagement at the top. There's three, two, and one. Perfect, we are gonna roll on up, stand on up, and we are going into some squats next. So feet can be as wide as it feels comfortable. We're just gonna sit back in those heels, stand on up. In three, two, one, we're on. Squat down, stand up here. Nice power through your legs. Good, explode up from that seated position. Nice. There's three, two, we have one more, and one. Awesome. We are going into a pillar march next. So driving one knee up and the opposite arm, or if you want to take it a little higher impact, go into a skip. Let's get going. In three, two, one. We're on pillar march or pillar skip. Good, get those arms moving as well. We're going for our heart rate getting up right here. There's three, two, one, awesome. Grab a quick drink if you need it. We're going through those one more time. Starting with our single leg RDL. Finding that balance in three, two, and one. Three on one side, three on the other. Remember that tip I gave you. Both hips are pointed straight down towards the ground. They're not opening up. Wonderful. Switch sides when you're there. And perfect. We're going down into our pillar bridge next, adding in that hip twist. Starting in three, two, one. We're on. Twisting side to side, keeping your body nice and flat. Core is really engaged right here. Staying strong. There's three, two, one. Good. Flipping over on your back. This time I'm going to give you another option. You can put your feet together. Keep them nice and close so your legs are kind of out to the side like frog legs. And then you're going to press your hips in the air. You can stick with that first version if you want as well. Ready? Three, two, one. So the bottoms of your feet can be touching if that feels comfortable. Otherwise, you can stick with that first version. You'll just feel it through your glutes a little bit differently here. Might feel a little bit more in your hamstrings. For me, it's slightly more challenging. There's three, two, and one. Good, rolling on up, going into our squats. See if you can make these a little bit lower or a little bit faster this round. Ready, three, two, one. We're on squat, power on the way up. Good, if you had really shallow squats round one, see if you can get half an inch lower on each rep right here. Yeah, there's three, two, and one. Perfect, we're going into that pillar skip, pillar march, finishing out our movement prep. 
in three, two, one. We're on. Drive those knees up, no matter which option you choose. Good, keep it quick. There's three, two, one. Awesome job, grab a drink. Okay, so we are moving into our strength and power. We have kind of a fun format today. We'll be doing two strength exercises in a row. Each strength exercise today is gonna to be 40 seconds long. So go 40, 40, then you'll take a little breather, just a 20 second breather, and then we're going to be moving into two cardio exercises that are gonna be shorter, 20 seconds each, and then we get a nice little breather. We'll go through that twice before we move on to our second group of exercises. So our first exercise will be with that medium set of weights, and we are going to be doing a one, one, two dumbbell floor press. So on your back, hips are lifted, glutes are engaged. We're gonna do one arm, other arm, both arms. One, one, two, good. So you should feel this one for sure in your chest. And then you might even feel it a little bit in your triceps, especially round two after we hit our triceps and the tricep push-ups, which will be our second exercise. So from there, you'll flip over nice and quick, make a diamond with your hands, or keep your elbows in, and you're going to go into some tricep push-ups for 40 seconds. These are challenging. So if you need to move up to a wall, a couch, or a chair, please do so. You can kind of do that same thing here, down, and press up. Okay, and then we'll be moving into our cardio. So I'll explain that when we get there. Let's start with our one, one, two, floor press with the hips lifted. In three, two, one. So grabbing those weights, let's go. Hips are lifted, one, one, two. Good, punch the weights away from you. You should feel that tension in your glutes, not in your low back. So if you do, your hips may be just a little bit too high. Keep them high, but in alignment with your body. Good, stay strong. One more full rep. There's one, one, two. Good, set those weights down. We are flipping on over right away into those tricep push-ups. Let's go, 40 seconds. Again, modify up to the wall or a counter, or a chair, if you need to. Elbows into your side, or dining position with your hands. Good, stay strong, we got this. 15 seconds, pushing through. Yeah, team. There's three. Two, get one more up, and one. Awesome. Okay, make sure your weights are out of the way. We have our cardio exercises next. First, we have a no jump burpee. So arms up, step back, step back up, stand up. Second exercise, we're going to be cross mountain climbers. So knee under and across. Ready? Okay, we're on right away. No jump burpee, step back, step back up. If you're here and you really wanna push it today, you can do any version of a burpee you would like. Add in that jump, add in that push up. Here's three, two, one, good. So down to that plank position, knee under and across right away. Really nice. Let's go. We're pushing it a little bit today. There's three, two, and one. Awesome. Grab a drink, take a nice little breather. So that was our first round. We're doing one more round just like that with those same exercises. And then we're moving on to a new group of exercises, same format. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to get ready to go about 15 seconds. So starting with that one, one, two floor press, getting down to the ground here. Starting in three, two, one, good. Hips lifted, one, one, two, good. Punch those weights right up to the ceiling. Good, staying strong here, let's go. Good, last couple. One more full rep. There's one, one, and two, good. Setting those weights down, limping right over. We're going to those tricep push-ups, starting right away. Good, we have that 40 second time limit right here. Push the ground away from you, keeping your elbows in towards your side. Nice job. 10 seconds, every rep counts right here. There's three. Two and one, good. Standing up, we are going to go into those no jump burpees and then cross mountain climbers, 20 seconds each. Then we get a nice big breather. Okay, ready to push it? Okay, let's go. In three, two, one, no jump burpees. So step back, step back up, stand up. Keep it quick. Really nice. Get one more up. And good, right into those cross mountain climbers. We're on right away. 15 seconds to go. There's three, two, and one. Awesome job. Stand up, grab a drink. Take a really nice breather. I am going to explain the next group of exercises. So first, we are going to have an RDL. So using either that medium set of weights or one heavier kettlebell, you're going to keep the weights close to your body, hinge at your hips, come halfway down your chins, and then stand up. So you should feel this one and your hamstrings and glutes. Coming down, standing up. You wanna go a little bit slower on the way down, normal speed on the way up. Then we will get rid of one of our weights, hold the other one on our chest, and we're going to go into a goblet drop lunge. So we're stepping back across and down. Our front leg should be at about 90 degrees, and our back knee should be bent. I don't want you stretching out super far. So you're just stretching a little bit and then go down from there. We are pairing that with dumbbell swings and skaters. So I'll explain those quickly when we get there. Okay, you're ready to go. RDL, grabbing those weights. Starting in three, two, one. We are on, so 40 seconds here, sitting back in your heels. Feel that nice stretch through your hamstrings. Taking counts. Three, two, one, on the way down, standing up. Really nice. Nice job here. 10 seconds. Finish this one strong. Then we're getting rid of that one dumbbell, going into our goblet drop lunge. Three, two, one, perfect. Set that weight down, right into it. Stepping back across and down. If this one 
It's really challenging with your balance. Just get rid of your weight and focus on your form. Good, 20 down, 20 to go. Awesome job here. There's three, two, and one. Awesome, set that weight down. We are going into dumbbell swings next. So holding the weight around, you're going to bring power from your hips, driving that weight forward. The second exercise are skaters. So stepping back and across, side to side. Okay, let's get ready to go here. Dumbbell swing in three, two, one, 20 seconds. So power from those hips. Hips are just going back and forward, not up and down. Nice. There's three, two, one. Perfect. Set that weight down. Go right into skaters. Side to side here. Again, we take it low impact today, but if you want to take it up a notch, feel free to add in that little jump. There's three, two, and one. Good. Grab a drink. Take a nice little breather. We're going through that one more time. If you want to try to lift a little bit more weight this time, feel free to grab either a heavy, heavier set of dumbbells or that kettlebell if you have it. We're gonna get started in about 15 seconds with our RDLs. Okay, hopefully you're ready to go. Start in three, two, one, we're on. Good, slow on the way down. Normal speed on the way up. Really finding that tension in your hamstrings on each rep. Nice job here. 15 seconds to go. Best reps. And we're going right into our drop lunges in three, two, and one. Awesome. Set that weight down. Let's go. If you want two dumbbells this time to make it more challenging, feel free to hold them at your sides. Or you can always use one of your chest or obviously no dumbbells as well. Let's go. Keep pushing it. 20 seconds to go right here. Good. There's three, two, get one more, and one. Set those weights down. We are going into our kettlebell or dumbbell swings next. Put that weight out, whatever one you're gonna use. 20 seconds there, 20 second skaters. Let's get ready to go. In three, two, one. We're on. Power from those hips. Good, shoulders stay strong. Core is engaged. There's three, two, one. Good, safely set that weight down. Going right into our skaters, we're on. Side to side. There's three, two, one. Awesome. Grab a drink, really, really nice job. Okay, take that nice breather here. Give yourself a gift of breath and a little bit of time off. 
we are going to go into an ESD round. So ESD is energy systems development. We're pulling out all of those cardio exercises we did in our strength and power round and putting them all together in a really nice burst of <laughs> a nice challenge coming together. It's gonna be short and sweet, just 15 seconds on, 15 seconds off, and two rounds through all four. So, you don't remember, we are doing no jump burpees first, and then going into cross mountain climbers, and then we're going into our dumbbell or kettlebell swings, and then we're going into our skaters. So those four down the line, and then repeat, okay? Only twice. So you want that weight close to you that you're gonna use for your dumbbell or kettlebell swing, but not in your way for these first couple. Okay, we're gonna be starting with that no jump burpee. Wanna see how many reps you need in right here. Best form in three, two, one. No jump burpee. We are on short and sweet, 15 seconds. Let's go. Two more reps. There's one. Get one more. And two. Awesome. Now you get a breather before you didn't. So enjoy it. We are going into those cross mountain climbers next. Okay, getting down on the ground. Ready to go. In three, two, one. Under and across. Here, if you start getting dizzy going up and down, feel free to go do those burpees to a couch or a chair. And then same thing here. Here's three, two, one. Perfect. So you can always be up in a couch or chair going under the cross to modify. We are going into our dumbbell swings next for kettlebell. Starting in three, two, one. We're on. Let's go. Power through your hips. Holding on to that really good form. Here's three, two, one, perfect. Set that weight down and in a safe spot, out of the way. We're going into our skaters. We'll get a bigger break after this one. In three, two, one. We're on. Let's go. Adding in that jump side to side if you want a challenge. There's three, two, one, awesome. Catch your breath. Lucky for all of us, we're going through that one more time today. Get a nice 30 second breather right here, and then we'll go into it. Okay, again, down the line. No jump burpee, cross mountain climber, dumbbell swings, skaters. Okay, we're going in 15 seconds, starting with that no jump burpee. If you counted your reps last time, see if you can beat your number right here. Starting in three, two, and one. We're on. Good. Step back, step back up. And stand. Let's go, team. Two more reps. There's one, go no one more. And two, awesome. Okay, take your time getting down or remember to modify that couch or chair. We are going into our cross mountain climbers in three, two, one. We're on under and across. Let's go, speed it up. Staying nice and flat. There's three, two, one. Good, standing on up. We're going to those kettlebell or dumbbell swings next. 
Fast form. Let's get on. Three, two, one. We're on. Hips go back and forward. Not too much up and down. Nice. There's three, two, one. Good. Put that weight in a safe spot. Out of the way. We're going into our final exercise of the day. Skaters. Let's get ready to bring it in three, two, and one. We're on. Yeah, keep it quick. See how many quality reps you get right here. There's three, two, and one. Awesome. Stand up, grab a drink, walk it off. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, focusing on your breath right here. Big inhale, big exhale. Try breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good, finding that nice control. Wonderful. And when you are ready, you can sit down on the ground. If you are feeling like you want to stay standing, I'll give you an option here as well. So if you can sit down, if not, stay standing. You can do the same stretch here. So one arm down towards your side, and then reach the other arm up and over. If you're in that standing position, Doing the exact same thing. Arms coming down that leg. Other arm reaching over. Good, we'll switch to our other side. Feel that nice side body stretch. This time, if you are on the ground, elbow down to the ground, reaching up and over, and then slightly behind your head, opening up your chest, your shoulder. Try to keep that knee pushed down towards the ground. So you get a good stretch in your hip as well. Good, other side. I love this one. So we'll do one more each side here. Wonderful. If you're standing, feel free to sit on down right now. We're going to extend our right leg. Left leg is going to come up and over. Pulling in, give it a nice little pinch first. Feel a good stretch through your glutes. Then we're going to take our right arm, lift it up, and add in that twist. If you can't get it up and over, that's fine. Just wrap it around and then look over your left shoulder. And we'll switch sides right here. So right leg up and over, adding in that twist. Looking over your right shoulder. Good, our last stretch of the day, we're going to go on to all fours. Your knees can be pretty wide, your feet, can be touching or a little bit out from each other. You're just gonna sit your hips back. Feel a nice little pinch in your hips and then come forward. So it's just sitting back, coming forward, getting some movement through your hips. Might feel a little pull in your low back as well, especially if your hips are tight. And then you can put your feet together, step back all the way into child's pose, walk your fingertips out, put your forehead on the mat, 
Feel that nice stretch as you walk your fingertips out as far as you can through your lats. Awesome. Stay there as long as you would like. Wonderful, wonderful job today. Thank you so much for coming. If you're able to join in just four minutes, we have Express app. So feel free to stay on. Or if you can't make it, try to watch the recording later. Thank you so much.